Welcome to Things I Think I Think for 11 September, 2020, 19 years ago today. Despite our present circumstances, there was another threat to our lives and our livelihoods that brought us together and reminded us of our shared humanity. Take a moment today for solemn remembrance. Honor Harrington gets it right again. Here's an excerpt from the Honor Harrington book, Uncompromising Honor, Following a Space Battle. And I'm quoting here from the book and from a character in the book. So Technodyne's accuracy, accuracy estimates at extended range were almost on the money, Rear Admiral Rosniak said using the hand unit to highlight a column of numbers on the briefing room's bulkhead smart wall. We can't be positive, but the hot wash analysis suggests Technodyne's estimate was accurate within five or 6%. Apparently, hot washes still exist 4,000 years into the future. Timeless, not timely, I always say. Blah, blah, blah. The journal had an article recently about companies struggling to create culture in, work, in the work from home world. Folks, you can't create culture. Culture happens. Culture is what we call the set of behaviors we engage in. You can't inject culture into a company. You can behave differently and that will change the culture, but culture efforts don't work. Anyway, here's a quote from the article. How to build camaraderie. How do you build a team? We have to get more creative. This particular company complemented all staff sessions with small group gatherings, covering the tab for participants to order food at home to simulate the experience of tableside conversations. At the start of each session, a song chosen by the presenter would play and a DJ would offer an introduction to replicate the energy of a live event and allow each speaker to show some personality. This is not how. Reed Drucker. One of the things I really love about Peter Drucker is his tone. You know what? He's phlegmatic. He's matter of fact. He's rational. He deals with actions and responsibilities and consequences. He may not be trying to motivate you, but if you read him well, you'll be motivated. As opposed to everyone else trying to reach leaders and talk about collaboration and morale and engagement and alignment and culture and social mission and blah, 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 blah. blah. Drucker talks to professionals. He was never trying to sell books. He was trying to reach professionals, us. Yes, he's hard to read. It's hard work. It's supposed to be what we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. It is dearness only that, give ev that gives everything its value. Heaven knows how to put a proper price on its goods. By the way, that's not me, that's Thomas Paine, somebody who's a lot smarter than me. Drucker, that's how. Finally, life is hard. Yeah, life is hard. Work is hard. Being good at work is even harder. It's supposed to be because we're human and flawed and not God and not perfect. Buddha tells us that the first rule of life is life is suffering. There you go. Life is literature. The hero strikes out. Not the movies when the hero hits a home run. And there are days, like now and lately, when the road is rocky, long, not well paved. There's more risk than yesterday and less reward than the day before that. Plans are on hold. Next year looks shaky. There's new fear of new failure and uncertainty and doubt. Yeah, life is hard. Work as hard 
as life is. Then go home, hang your worries on that tree, and go inside and hug your family. Love is the answer.